Welkom, hallo en hartelijke welkom by Pro. Ek is Abida Dixon Mohammed. en vandag keer ek in die kombuis van chef Keenan Michaels en ja, dit is die laaste episode van seizoen 18. Hallo jylle, weet sal jylle nog loon, he? ons is alweer by die laaste dag van season 18. Wel, ek het begin met Chef Keenan en ek het net gevoel dat ek maar ook eindig met Chef Keenan, want hierdie bliksem het mos vir ons in die eerste episode mos om my baie lekker nonsens vertel, maar ons gaan hom weer terugkry. Hallo Chef. Hi, hoe gaat het jylle hoor? Nee, wat ons is sommer baie lekker, want ons het net ge- gebesluit, ons moet maar een bykie weer vir jou kom kreeg, want ons het ons een bykie te klaar gelag vir jou en so aan en so aan, maar wat gaan vir ons een bykie oor dier jou bestanddeel en wat gaan jy vir my vandag koop? Ok, today we're gonna do a vegan dish. A vegan? A vegan what dish. What is a vegan? Vegans are people that can't yeah, have anything with animal products, so they can't have honey because um, honey is uh, made from bee and bee, a bee is an animal. They can't have any dairy because a cow is an animal, so they don't eat or wear anything that comes from the animal. Oh my God. So I've been taking a couple of shots at vegans uh, lately, so today sure. this is for all my vegan friends to show them how much I love Hello, them. my ex. Ik wil nou net vir jou sê nie, een van ons is vegan, wat vandag op die stel is hierdie. Maar ek wil, so, net, ek wil met my mense wees, dat ek kan vegan eindelijk maak, maar ek kies nie om vegan te maak, het is een keese wat ek maak. Nou laat ek wil sê, hy gaan een vegan dish maak, maar hy gaan ook seker maak, dat hy vir my een stuk vleis erens maak, <laughs> en dan by jou gooi, sien jylle nou. <laughs> Right, okay. so today we're going to make a cauliflower stick. Yes. So we're going to treat this exactly like we were to have a piece of fillet. So uh-huh. we're going to look, so the best part of the cauliflower is usually running through here, the middle. Yeah. So we're going to cut it through like this. One. Yes. And we're going to cut it through two. And okay. And we have a beautiful cauliflower stick over here. So we're going to treat this exactly like we were to treat any other stick. And I see the ducky. I, I see the ducky. Uh-huh. We're going to start him here. Yeah. And we're gonna finish him. If you're not sure about the cooking time, you can turn him a little bit off. Uh-huh. We're gonna season him nicely. Very, very simple. Yes. Salt and pepper, exactly like you're taking a piece of meat. That's exactly how we're gonna treat our cauliflower. So, salt. Pepper. So, see, now I have to a stick of blomkool for a stick of steak. Where I know the blomkool and then on white sauce to put it. And that is all I can get. Right. Now it's nicely seasoned. Yes. We season it all sides. Then we're going to take move on to our pan. Hmm. And who, where must your pan um train be as for it now and set? Um, for for this steak, you want to get it nice color. Yeah. So you want to get your pan on really, really hot. Is it? Because like like with the cooker steak, you got to caramelize yes. the meat, right? So we're going to caramelize the cauliflower. So we're going to try to get it golden brown on all sides. Good. So we're going to start with the one end, we're going to switch it over to the other end, mm-hmm. and I'm going to show you the secret, and you can use the same principle where you're cooking meat, whether you're cooking vegetables, kick, uh, chicken or fish, okay. let the pan do the work for you. Wow. Don't work the pan, let the pan do the work. Maar hulle sê ons altyd, as die pan weet te warm is, en hy sit, sit iets en dan brand het die ding van buiten en rauw van binnen. Nah, oh. your pan can't be too hot. I will put the, the pan on between medium and hot. Okay. As soon as you will get a clear indication when your oil starts moving away in the pan. Mm. So if I, like I just put the pan on now, yeah. right? I'm just putting a little bit of oil. Okay. Watch what the pan is telling you. The pan talks to you. You must just listen to the pan, what the pan is telling you. Uh. The pan is saying, I'm not ready yet. Okay. So I'm just gonna give it a test and move it around. As, so- as soon as you can start seeing a little bit of smoke, turn your heat down and means your pan's hot enough and you can put your steak in. So I want that nice and hot. Mm. So while we are waiting on this, we're just going to move this out of the way. Now can you see? Weer eens leer ek vandag iets niet. Want ek weet net as jou pan warm is en hy is te warm en dan wat jou ook al in sit, gaan kapoets wees van buiten en dan is hy toch van bille nie. So daar is nog een hindu wat ek krijg van chef Keenan. Hy is even nie te chef Keenan. Right, now my, now my pan is telling me, Keenan, ons is gereer. Alright. Bring maar die steak. Mm. So hier gaat ons een steak. <laughs> Listen to the sound. That means it's perfect temperature. It's wow. not too hot. Now I'm not going to touch this. Yes. I'm going to leave it just like this. Okay. I'm going to let the pan do the work for me. Good. While the pan's busy working, I'm going to move on to this side. Right. 
What no. we what we doing with our vegan dishes? We're gonna make a little sauce. It's an Argentinian based sauce, which Have is called Argentinian. It comes from Argentina oh. in South America. Yes, yeah. So it's called the chimichurri sauce. All right, and then butter then on what are the sauce? We got garlic. Yeah. We got fresh coriander or dania, and we got fresh lemon juice. Now yeah. usually we put some chili, but we don't smell for chili today because it's too hot. <laughs> it is too hot. <laughs> okay, any extra chili in the house? <laughs> so we're just gonna put this in the blender. Yes, alright. And this is one handful of danya. Yeah. And garlic. Knuffel. Why is it not in? That's it. That's it. Knuffel and ginger in it. Not knuffel. All right. Lemon juice. It's in yellow shapes as well. You come to wear with the sea lemon stuff, ne? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just flavor, man. We, we, it's all about flavor. For me as a chef, I will try to use everything. I got the juice and now I'm going to use the, the, zest. the zest also. Mm. So it's just more flavor and that citrus that comes in. And you don't want the white, the, all the oils, all the essential oils and all the flavors in the green mm. or the yellow of the skin. Okay. So just grind away from there. Mm. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of, okay. You can put salt and pepper in for me, please, Abida. Can no, you? No, 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 I trust you. Let me help you say, this is not in my good thing. I can't get a crack on the good stuff. I can't get a crack on the good stuff. I can't get a crack on the good stuff. I can't get a crack on the good stuff. For us, I begin. Check up on our steak. Now I tell you now, it's going to be brown at the bottom. Beautiful color. Let's check. Wow. That's the color that I'm looking for. The pan's doing the work for me. Exactly like you were to cook a normal steak, right? And if you want to get it even more brown, butter. What? Unsalted butter. En hoe kom je dan in mijn skin daar naar jouw boter? Zo maar immediately samen voor gooi met jouw olie niet. Dus ons naar Afrika maken. Butter gives a nice nuttiness. When butter goes brown or butter gets to a certain temperature, it goes nutty. So you're going to get a nice nutty flavor on the cauliflower as well instead of just having a normal seared flavor. So we're trying to push the flavor also. We're not just trying to make it look lekker and taste lekker. We're pushing the flavor also. Baie, baie belangrijk. Ja, ek moet vir julle sê, ek is baie aspres om vir die chef al die vrouwen te vraag wat ek wil weet of hy nou vir my kan goed te leer. Maar ek moet sê, nee, hy slaag. Hy slaag om vir my al my apparaat te kan behandel. Nee, hy is geskat op ons het nou weer terug. Maar ik is niet zo vanaf dat ik zomaar alles aan zo'n massie afklaar ga doen en alles zij afdoen. Nou wil hij van mij komen eifje om te schil. Dus ik nou, doe nu aan je eif. Zo, ik ga maar net die staan. Oké, zo, wat doen we nou? So, this is the cauliflower steak that we got both sides. Look at the color on it, right? We finish it with the butter. So, now it's going to go into the oven, just like a normal steak. Yeah. It's still raw, it's still raw in the middle. Yeah. So, we need to cook it through. But, the, the way we're going to cook this, we're not going to cook it through 100% well done. We're going to cook it and it still has a nice crunch in the middle. Okay. So we're maintaining the integrity of the vegetable stock. Good. Alright. So mm. this goes into our oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees. Yes. We're going to keep this in for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. depending on the size of the steak. This yes. is a, quite a large cauliflower steak. Yeah. So it will still be nice and tender on the inside. I say. Okay. Alright. But 10 minutes is okay. 10 minutes is okay. Ons maak nie seker dat hy 10 minuut is, dat hy nie oog gaan nie. Ja, ek moet vir jou sê, die ouwe, hy ken sy story, hy sê, ek het het te doen met sy time, hy kan nie nog met hom. Ek hoef jy as vir hom te remai nie. So, this is going underneath our cauliflower steak. We're going to make something that I learned a couple of years ago. We're going to make a vegan scrambled eggs. So, the ingredients that we're going to use is, we got some tofu, which is basically bean curd, which is completely vegetarian. I've got some pap... Turmeric on here, mm. and I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of smoked paprika. 
smoked paprika just gives it that lightness and that sweetness mm -hmm. and a little bit of seasoning. So we're gonna put just a little bit of smoked paprika in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put a bit of white pepper. Because mm -hmm. you remember this, this has no taste. So we uh, need some help, so we can be oh, helping it right now. Okay, okay. smaga and Okay. Because the turmeric is gonna change the tofu to the color of yes. scrambled eggs. It's gonna make it yellow. And now root it. And then we're gonna yeah, and then we're gonna cook it. So the base of this is gonna be some red onion. Yes. The the finer you slice your onion, the better it is, you know. Because then you can really get a, a fine cook on everything. Okay. It takes a while to get used to cutting with these um, gloves on. And 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 in the diner, I see you. Oh, mess! This gefaarlijk wat hij daar. This is a nigiri knife, a Japanese vegetable knife, yeah. made by my amazing sponsor. So I'm really blessed to have these kind of knives to use. The caliber of these knives. But it is also very hard. I get it opgeteld and gevoeld. So this is something that enige mensen. It uh, takes a while to get used to this knife. So we got another pan now. So we're gonna heat this pan up. We yes. start from the bottom. This is gonna go very, very quickly and it's very, very easy. Say, how come I let go up that they set your pan on with nuts in it? Yeah. Okay. So I want. Now, hold your pan. Yes, a bit warm for that they will your water go in. Exactly. Okay. See, no kidding. But on school, we must know. So, my ears don't so only good and it dances on so we'll be flat. Now, what? It comes down to personal preference. Like, I know I'm a hot. I want my pan to be like, I want to get a good saute on you. I will get a little bit of smoke for it. And this, we're going to finish it off with this. So, we're going onions. Then we're going with this. Then we're going with that. And that's it. But that time, a cauliflower would be perfect. And it would come out and we could plate it up. So it's all about timing and everything goes into sequence. All right. That's basically it. So let's get let's check our pan. Okay. Pan's getting warm. So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of sunflower oil. Can you see the oil oil's moving already? Yeah, I see no. I see no. My pan is already warm. Exactly. So how for my um? How come you bring your yeast here? Why in it? Okay, but. The red onion is a lot sweeter. It's got a lot of. It's much sweeter in the taste and the flavor, and I prefer it. And also for this dish that I'm going to be cooking, we got green spinach. Yes. We got yellow. Yeah. We got red. Ah, we got white. It's a good color so to contrast also. Combination. It's a good combination. combination. It's not just about making it pro liquor. Yes. It's about looking Look liquor, liquor also. So that's why a man must make Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Also it's warm. Good to go. But 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 can you so but take you can a damn buy a liquor like ma but take you through your career. So now you're gonna hear the pen talk to me again. Okay. Spread it out nice and evenly. Yeah. When you spread your whatever you cook, when you spread it out evenly on an even work surface, it it is at the heat there's a beauty even here. You can cook more things. So same thing again. Don't touch it. I let the pan do the work for me. Wow. In the meantime, we're gonna be working on our sauce that we got in here. We got our tanya in here, our coriander, we got our lemon juice, and we got our garlic. I'm just gonna give it a quick. Look at that. And look at that. Mm. Sauce done. Ik hou van die ouse blende, nou, hy blang daar een mooie beskrik aan. Dit is moeilijk as kwoon nou. Maar kijk, dit is gewoon wat ek jou wil gevraag. Dit is nou, ek sal sê, a tweeze, maar wat noem jylle dit en vir wat gebruik jylle dit nou? Um, when it comes to garnishes and stuff like that, my fingers are quite thick. Okay. And there's certain things I can't pick up quick enough. And okay. some things you have to handle very, very delicately. Okay. So that's why I use that. And some some of the plating also, you need like fine... It's, yeah, it's very hard to pick up with your fingers. But <laughs> now, Ah, goed, wat we ze moesten gebruiken, dan kan ze ons gebruiken iets anders. Ah, practice gaan proberen, gauw. Je zei. Dat is nou anders, zo zie je, zo zie je wat, zo zie je chopsticks. Ja. Oké, laat ik ons... Probeer met je vingers en dan gebruik je eruit. Dan zal je zien in verschil. Nee, man, ik zal hem kans voor op. Maar praat, nou tel niet jene op. Net jene. Oké. Je hebt drie different colors. Ja, heb ik ook. Oké, daar had ik die groen. Had ik die, wat is hier, die kers. Nee, maar dat is niet meer kleren. Okay, what 
well, it's a big fun. But that is a question that I must try one. Ooh, looking sexy. That is looking very, very sexy. I'm actually going to turn the oven down. Weet jy nou lekker ryke die binne? Dis amper soos hy nog harerig sê, dit is een stuk stuik, alhoewel het een stuk blomkool is, ryk dit nog steeds vir, verskrikkelijk lekker, natuurlijk vir hy boter en hy olie en wat daar in die oond is. Now we're just gonna give it a quick mix. Yes. So we want the turmeric to blend nicely and everything to coat nicely before we put it into the pan. So our onions is cooked already. Okay. So daar gaat hy in. And now we're gonna put in our tofu scrambled eggs. Nou, daar sien jy, daar daar jy gaan natuurlijk in die pan gegaan, ons het amper daar blij aan gesakkel. Weet jy, jylle sal jy wel geloof wat gebeur achter die skerms, en ek gaat jylle sê, die sê kienen, hy is stout, en ek bedoel stout achter die skerms, en gaan jylle nie sê wat hy alles doen en wat hy alles sê nie. Maar sê kienen, hoe ver is ons in dis nou sê? Ons is amper klaar, right? Tofu is in, now we're gonna finish it over some beautifully washed baby spinach. Okay. Don't be shy, moet nie skaam, moet nie skaam, moet nie skaam, moet nie skaam. Maar ek wil nou net praat voor baie. Lots. To add some color and some texture. Okay. And then we look, it's just gonna toss it. Also. Sê nie dat die sê, ek lijk wat hulle so maak, as ek moet so maak, en van ander goed is uit. Also, we need to check up on our steak, because our steak should be ready now. Okay. Our cauliflower, so we just gonna have a look. Oh, yes. I don't see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. That is perfect. That is just beautiful. And now, come, I say, I can use cauliflower, and what can I do under and say? Um, you can use whatever is in season. Like I, I like to use um, whatever vegetables are in season. Uh -huh. So, like say for example, this is cauliflower right now. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Yes. Oops. So I didn't season it. You know, for me, everything needs to be seasoned. Everything's what I have to taste. The moon is pro. So now we're gonna get start plating up. I'm just gonna move that. To smell that. Mm. And you can see it looks exactly like scrambled egg. It is. But it's not scrambled egg, it's tofu. But I can't even get wondered, I can't see it like so scrambled eggs to do it, but I can't even see it like a eggs. The turmeric gives it a nice, you know, a nice color. So we're just gonna plate this up very, very quickly, nicely. Mm. And look at the color of the steak. You can see it's cooked. Yeah, I feel you. Just feel the ah, oh, beautiful. I as soon as you say that, here up your your hand. If this was a if this was a piece of meat, this would yeah. be cooked uh, medium rare uh -huh. or medium. Okay, okay. Presentation side, we're just gonna put that like that, beautifully yeah. over, and then we're gonna finish it off with some of our non chili chimichurri sauce. Hmm. Oops. So, you're just also gonna want your eye sauce, ma? Yep. And then you, uh, Abida, can you please pass me some microwaves with the, with the chef tongs there? Abida's new toy. I want to ask you, but that's all that's on the table. So, how many of you have to do it? Get the purple ones, the purple the ones will make ones. it pop nicely. Oh, okay. And then, whoo! Get the purple, <laughs> get some purple around there. Okay. And then there's one there. Okay, and then we'll go over. Asse. There you go. And then we get some green ones right in the middle on top. Okay, here is green. Asse. Up. Asse. Prachtig, man. See, you are so good. I have enough. I have enough. That's enough. Good job. See, you know, I'm going to have my work here. I'm going to have my job. But okay, so that's it. But I mean, that's an easy vegan. And that's it, then it's clear. Vegan steak. Um, vegan um, scrambled egg, okay. completely easy. Maar kom, ek sê nou, daar was nou een rechte stuk steak. Hoe lang sal hy gevat het? Selfde tyd? Selfde tyd. Except for the fact that you, if it was meat, you needed to rest. Because okay. with meat, you have to let your meat rest. If I'm gonna cook my steak for 10 minutes, my steak needs to rest for 10 minutes. Ah. So all the juices can be it's sucked in there. Because sometimes if your steak isn't rested, you'll notice if you cut your steak open on your yeah. plate, it bleeds out. Okay. So we let all the meat retain and then we just finish it quickly. Yes. Give it a quick flash and then we serve it. That's how we do it in the restaurant. Oh. 
ونو تال سو ذاتس ات ايك موت سي ايك اس باندرك مي ديري او ما يلا مت انغسكاكو با ايك خات نو ليك برو ان دان ولك بيكي مي دي او غسياس ان وير وات اي 3 مانت لاس ان دي تايت غبير وات ايك لاس تا ميتو غسياس ات ek weet jy of jy nog kan ondou nie men die eerste episode wat ek vir hom kom kyer het toe gee hy vir my net so 'n gaf die boor en sal jy dit glo dis die laaste episode en ek gee my vrag die wat weer 'n gaf die boor dink jy nou dit is reg maar hy vergeet ek is van 'n stel net om 'n bietjie te proe so ek weet nie wat men dink hy nou gaan met die met die res word nie maar okay so sal ons sê dis 'n doggie bag ek kan dit hy stop ek o as we say in cape town is a barakat it's just a proof of point that i'm not just a fine dining chef as ek vir mense gesê on a boot kost skeer aan skel hulle so that's another point you can't please everybody ek sê ja nou sien nou hy het nou vir my mos nou 'n lekke blonkel steak gemaak met al die tipe van goeders maar ek gaan eerlik wa sê ek wens dit was 'n regte piece steak gewees mm. alright maar sê Kinen, hartelijk gauw vir ons deur jou bestand jylle, wat het jy hier gebruik vir jou jylle lekker vegan steak goeders? So we starting from the top, we got our cauliflower steak, has been seasoned with salt and pepper, yeah. we sealed it off in the pan to give it some colour and some flavour, then we finish mm. it off in the oven, mm. very simply, at the bottom we got our vegan scrambled egg, which is tofu, which is a soy bean curd, mm. we added some turmeric to that, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, we sauteed um and then we first did some red onion then we added the the tofu then we finish it with a handful of washed baby spinach and then on top of it we did a chimichurri sauce which is a argentinian sauce some fresh coriander or dania fresh garlic lots of lemon juice lemon zest salt and pepper and we didn't put chili in but usually you would and you can also put some pasta okay, in i see just to top it up give it a nice balance of acidity to go nicely with the steak and the tofu so yeah well, like, Jou sê, hier is een crispiness in hierdie blomkool, wat verskrikkelijk lekker is. Baie dankie. Mm. It's all about color, so um, no color means no flavor. Whether you're cooking vegetables, fish, chicken or meat, it's got to have nice caramelization on the outside and nice and beautifully tender on the inside. That's the way I treat my cauliflower exactly how to mm. it, like I would treat steak or piece of meat. Maar ek moet vir julle sê, ek het nou al weer nieuwe oog gekyk na een blomkool hier, in verband van hoe ek altyd een blomkool net maak met sy wit saus, en daar gaan hy op die kaas saus sê, en is dit nou heel te mal soma een verskillende iets. Maar nou, Sef, Tien en jy is dan nou ook een Sef in vol maak. Kook jy dan ook vir mense, of hoe is dit dat jy net een Sef is? Um, I wanted to be a chef since I was a child and um, I've been cooking now professionally for 20 years and I started my own business in this kitchen in 2017. Um, basically, it's a mobile restaurant. I bring the restaurant experience to the comfort of your home. Like when someone's home, you just um, tell me what your budget is. I work according to your budget. You tell me what your um, dietary requirements or restrictions are. I work, I cook, I put that in. I do 90% of the cooking in my kitchen. Then I literally bring the 90% cooked food to your home, mm-hmm. plate it up, present it, and I explain it to you. It's not just dinners, anything, brunch, breakfast, sushi, canapes, picnics, fine brine, anything food related. I do weddings, 21st, sure. any functions, any events, as long as it costs by the local us, Masika. And work you alone or work you there in a span with some of your work? Meeste van die tyd werk op my eie, maar ek het um, drie, twee of drie chefs wat ek my keer as ek nou groot functions in het, en ek het twee apprentices wat nou oor na my werk ook um, van Mitchell Spain. Goed. En uh, wat area woon jy? Ek uh, is Prowley Sramantijn, ek is een man van Sramantijn, ge- alle gemeenskap en my mens aan die Sramantijn, baie lief vir julle. Um, it's very proud, you need to be very proud of where you come from, especially as a colored person. Where you come from doesn't define how far you can go. Mm, definitely. Maar voor jou gaan voortgaan, voor ek vergeet, onthou net aan hierdie recepte, kan jy kry op my website. Dit is mos nou drie W dots. En iemand het gesê, ek sê drie dots, maar nou sê ek alweer, dit is drie W's en een dot. En dan die woord pro, met die DM vir Dixon Mohammed, en dan dot sê jou dot sê hy. Dit kan gaan, ek sê vir hulle elke keer, Abidas moes die enigste ene met drie W's, ne? Niemand anders die drie W's sê, net sê. So ja, dan gaan julle nou daar na die website toe, en julle gaan kyk een bykie daar so, en as julle enige van die programme gemis het, gaan kyk daar so, van die re- recepte, julle kan het daar gaan afhaal, as julle dan nou wil. Ek het dan ook een app met die naam van Pro, so gaan dan na die Google Play Store toe, download loaded daar, en dan kan jy dan ook die app gebruik, om dan gauwer 
vir enige information en goeders kan hy dan uh, daar in kom en so aan. En dan ook die YouTube channel, ga naar die YouTube channel toe, en dit is natuurlijk pro, en gaan subscribe a bykie daar. Daar is dan ook een vorm wat jy kan invul op die website, vul in die vorm as jy dan ook op die pro show wil wees. En onthou, dit is net vir mense wat kook in hulle huise, soos hulle sal sê, home chefs. Dit is nou eindelijk een experience sê, maar ook hy is nog steeds een home chef. Sien jy nou daar so? So ja, dit is nou nie vir businesses nie, nee? Maar businesses, moet nie skaam wees, sê, ons kan gesels, as jy dan ook aan boord wil kom. Maar nou, ek sê vir kene, as ek nou, kom sê, ek bel jou, Nou sê ek, maar ek wil hee, jy moet my private sê wees, so nou kom jy na my toe, nou gaan jy vir my uitle, gee jy vir my een menu, of gee ek vir jou een menu, en hoe gaan jy te werk? You basically tell me what you what you want. Um, I work according to what you want. Say for example, you tell me, Keenan, I want a vegetable starter, I want a fish main course, and I want a chocolate dessert. Good. That's all you need to tell me. Mm. I will give you choices of starter, main courses, and these are three options of each. Then you, as the client, you choose what you want, you select what you want, and then we move forward with it. Okay. And as I said, there's a website, website, YouTube, where can you find me? You can contact me on my Facebook page at Keenan's, Keenan's Kitchen. You can get me on my Instagram handle and Keenan's Kitchen, and you can also check out my cooking channel on YouTube called Cooking with Chef Keenan. Those are my three handles. Sien jylle nou, ek los hom, want ek het nou eindelijk nou vir hom toegelaat, maar dit is nou natuurlijk nou die typische kallits, wat die een sou gebruik om het nog een sou te bevorder. Maar ek gaat hom los, ons gaan het vir hom. Ons help ons mekaar, sharing is caring. Ek gaan nou weer kry, op a ander, op a ander way, maar soos jylle daar nou natuurlijk gesien het, ek het geproe en ek gaat vir jylle sê, hierdie was verskriplik lekker. En ek hoop jy die laaste dag van seisoen 18 lekker geniet saam met my en chef Keenan Michaels. Tot volgende keer mooi bly, ek is Abida Dixon Mohammed en volgende week gaan keier ek vir Chef Sain Phillips in sy kombuis.